this painting is, this was one of the most difficult paintings in the whole thing, and it was one that the Historical Association was most keen for me to do. So it was like a test piece, and as always at the start of things, like, sure, yeah, 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 stained glass, not a problem, chandelier in front of it with gasoliers on it, yeah, 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 I'll do that. Uh, clueless as to how I was going to do it, having not painted stained glass before. Uh, and for artists out there, I would have to say that a chandelier in front of a stained glass window is not something to start on. This is the day that electricity was introduced into the White House, 1893, by a man named Irwin Hoover, who wrote a long reminiscence about his time at the White House. He went there to install the electricity, and he stayed for his whole life and became the chief usher, which is not such an unusual story in White House history. So. Twilight for the Age of Gas, Bill Seal is called this, the subtitle for this, and it's a great one. And we have the family standing around uh, watching the momentous moment as electricity is turned on. Tiffany, as part of his decorative scheme, had put this enormous stained glass screen right across the entrance hall of the house. It was very drafty. It was a drafty house, and there was a glass screen there already and he improved it. So the columns and so on, they were there, but the stained glass was new. In order to do the painting, I went and looked at a lot of Tiffany stained glass, particularly up in Bar Harbor, there's some fabulous windows. And it's not like his art glass, is not like stained glass as we think of it now, sort of neat pieces of glass cut out. They're huge, they're thick slabs of glass. They're more, you could take them and use them as objects, the pieces of the, of the screen, although the screen is gone. It's one of the great quests of the Antiques Roadshow, where is the Tiffany screen? When Roosevelt redecorated the house in 1902, it was torn out and the story goes, sold to a hotel down on the Chesapeake, which later burnt. In between the lumps of stained glass, there were what he called jewels, which were like pieces of bright colored glass, thick pieces that were made sort of round, which were held in. So the whole thing must have been hugely heavy because the pieces of glass were very thick. In the center of the, of the stained glass, there's a sort of abstracted American eagles around the center. And then again, there's this motif of dogwood flowers occurring um, all over the place. As I was working on the painting, the, there was a meeting of the uh, advisory committee and uh, Bill Allman, the White House curator, was at it and he said, oh, I don't like them working on that carpet. They wouldn't have worked on that carpet. The carpet was right across the painting. So I unrolled the carpet in the painting, which turned out to be a good idea, like a lot of his suggestions, because then it allowed me to do the reflection of the window on the floor. And he was happy, because that was how they did things at the White House. So it's sort of, I'm pleased that there's a continuum, that White House ways are through long periods and through generations of staff to some degree remain the same. <laughs>